In this example, I'm going to show you how to build a selector for the questions on Quora. So let's open inspect as usual. And as you can see, I cannot use text equal method because the, the text inside the, uh, this element is always going to change. So let's now see um, if there is any uh, value inside uh, these selectors that is um, identifiable, unique enough for us. There is, for example, one that I see for this div, and as you see, it highlights this question. And I can see that it says question title. This is quite a unique way to address selector. All right, so I already inserted here uh, the building block for opening the link. And now I'm going to add that selector here to, to save it to a data table. So here's a data table where I have question, text and question link two columns, which I had prepared before. And the selector that I'm going to use is going to be div. Um, and then we had class and question title. However, pay attention that um, this is going to be a lose match, right? Because I'm not going to, uh, let's get back to that one. So I'm not going to uh, include in my value this text, puppeteer, test. I'm just going to include question title. That looks to me the most uh, unique part of that value. And that's why I need to use the uh, star to indicate that this is a loose match. I'm going to simply um, save it as a plain text to quarter questions to the uh, column question. And as you can imagine, so let's first actually test it in the console. What would happen is that um, with the document query selector all, what would happen is that uh, most likely um, we will get, of course, all these questions, right? So it won't be just one question. So as you can see, uh, we've got a list of 10. So expand, hover, and as you can see, we've got 10. So in a way, this is great news. So we got our we got the right selector. We just need to also identify which item we want to get. And if we want to get the first one, as usual, we can use um, the filter option with two greater than characters and then add ns equals zero. Remember, whenever you use ns equal, then use zero as your first item in the list. But whenever you use uh, colon ns child, then use one. I'm going to save it and I'm going to run this task board and uh, we will see what gets saved to the data table. Okay, so now as usual, the task board closes the browser and now let's see. Uh, so as you can see here, the first result was saved. This is exactly what we wanted and what we intended uh, this to be. Great. Right, now let's take a look how we can um, define the selector for the question. Because for the question, we need to address the tag A. So let's take a look. Um, so the question, uh, the text of the question was somewhere here. So as you can see, question title. But the A um, tag is higher in the hierarchy. It's right here. And as you can see, the ROM we cannot really see any value that is unique enough. So most of these uh, things that you can see are related to styling, such as text decoration, some cryptic values, uh, hover, cue box. So we cannot really use it. Um, if we move further, all the other values are also mostly um, mostly sort of related to, to styling, even though this one looks good, page content layout. But uh, again, this is too generic. And um, from what I tested before, the, the best way to address A here is to actually to use the hierarchy. So we can simply use div 
strict hierarchy span, strict hierarchy A, because not, there are not so many A's. A's are always going to correspond to the links, and they are going to be this, uh, this, 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 this. So by taking a look at how the other A's are structured, I saw that the hierarchy here, this this last bit of the hierarchy is quite unique, and this is exactly what we're going to use. I'm going to hit uh, arrow up, and I've already inserted it here, so pay attention, div span A, and I didn't actually use any attributes or any values, just used the hierarchy, the three steps of the hierarchy, the three levels. Uh, enter in it, and uh, as you can see now, the questions are on the left side are addressed by this selector. So I'm going to copy this selector and I'm going to use it inside the building block process website. So I'm going to add one more selector. And as usual, I'm going to add NS equals zero, uh, just to save the first result. And then I'm going to save it to the column question link. And let's see if it will work now. I'm going to run it now. It's going to overwrite that uh, first row as I didn't check the checkbox, preserve existing rows. And now let's see, as you can see, the link was saved now. And uh, in order to save this as a, as a list and not just the first result, in our application, you would need to use uh, the building block repeat, where you would need to specify how many questions you want to save. Let's say I want to save five questions. And then instead of addressing the first element, with zero, uh, we need to change that to loop index comma zero, save and do the same here. So loop index comma zero. Remember, whenever you use ns equals, then your starting point is zero. Zero just corresponds to your first item in the list. If you use uh, that other way of defining the list, that is by adding colon ns child, and then in brackets, uh, your item, uh, then you would need to start from one. So this is just something to be aware of. I'm going to preserve existing rows, and if I run it now, then you will see that, oh, that five questions will be saved. So now the taskboard is opening this page and it's the taskboard is going to go through these questions and save them to a data table. As you can see here, the first one uh, was preserved. So it got saved again because uh, I preserved the existing rows. And this is how you can build the selector for Quora. Thanks for watching.